Saturday morning, welcome back guys. Well, we had a fabulous Friday, like I did kind of suggest we would have yesterday. And we landed three winners. Should have been four winners, but we landed three winners. Uh, that was on the tartan bet. Landing a 21 to 1 treble. Three shots. Three goals, as I would say. Um, fantastic day. Uh, that's after landing an each way double on the tartan bet the previous day. So the tartan bet is absolutely on fire. And we had uh, some lovely information yesterday and we've got some lovely information again today. And today's is around 47 to 1 for the treble. So let's see if we can go back to back and land another tartan bet treble then. Uh, let's speak about the main line then. What can I say guys? With Benny's would have been on at 14 to 1. It's been backed in a 11 to 1 just before. Well, it was backed in at 91 before the off and then just drifted right on the off to 11 to 1. Uh, the horse was the best horse in the race by a country mile. And we have been blocked uh, while making it a fantastic effort. A full long out, we've had to switch and we've been denied by a neck. So that was heartbreaking. But that happens. And we still made profit on the bet, although a 14 to 1 winner would have been better than a 14 to 1 place. But I think you can tell the information is spot on as per usual. I'm going to do something a little bit different here today, guys. Uh, well, I'm actually going to do two things a little bit different on here today. I'm going to give you a horse out uh, that is actually odds on. You know, that is something very rare. But uh, there's a method to the madness today, and you'll get to that come the end of this. Then, but uh, with that short one, I'm also going to give you a 61 horse and an 111 horse from the Irish cartel. So uh, should be a should be a very very exciting day. Uh, click on the link below, guys. Four pound gets you. Involved in the Red Hot Tartan Trio today after banging in a 21 to 1 treble yesterday and on the previous day, landing a little each way double as well. We're expecting to take the bookies to the cleaners again, so make sure you are part of it. Get clicking in the box below, guys. I'll fire through the main line then. So, as I said, something a little bit different today. In the 140 race at the Curra, there's a horse called Diego Velasquez. Right, it's 10 to 11 this one. Right, so we're going to back it as a maximum win bet today. Right, but the reason this horse has actually been gave out, right, this horse will improve about a stone for today's run. So uh, it's not really all about today with this horse. This horse is absolute magnificent we're told and for any of you who have followed this channel for long enough eh, or maybe been in with me since my premium rate phone days etc will know my information from eh, the Irish cartel uh, is absolutely fantastic and there's very strong links to Joseph O'Brien's yard and we have got very strong links to Aidan's yard although more with Joseph O'Brien's yard we have landed some massive punts from Aidan's yard as well and this is the horses that not many people even know the names we give these out like a year in advance, etc. They've never been at the track and they'll come up and they'll boat up at 16 to 1 on one of the big days and you'll hear people going, oh, where did that one come from? Well, 
we've told you in the seven or eight months previous to it. That's where they came from. So the information is always spot on, but when you look at a 39 to 1 forecast in the Derby, we told everyone previous to these horses were 25 to 1 and 33 to 1 respectively. And they were first and third for the Derby. We gave that out a year ago. A year in advance. We know what one are the best horses uh, and we are told Diego Velasquez is an absolute superstar. We all know about City of Troy, we all know about River Tabor, no, not many know about Diego Velasquez uh, but I'll tell you this horse they think this is absolute top draw. So it's 10 to 11 today in the 140 race. Bet it as a maximum one bet. But in the 2000 guineas, the English 2000 guineas, bet Diego Velasquez anti post for that race. Yeah, the previous mentioned two are above this one in the market, but we're told Diego will make a mockery in that market. And it's 14 to 1 available, 16 to 1 in places. Uh, for it, it's anti post bet. Obviously, they they go a little risky with that because obviously the injuries are part and parcel of it. But this horse will be aimed at the 2000 guineas, and we're told it should win the 2000 guineas. But back at each way at around 14 to 1 for that before this race because the what we've been told. 14 to 1 won't to be around after the race. So do that. And that's that out of the way. Now let's go on with the other two in the main line. Then 4 o'clock at Curra, horse number 14, King's Time, 16 to 1. Yeah, 61. I wish we were getting 16 to 1, it's only 61. Uh, and a strong each way bet on this. And in the 540 race, we've got horse number six and the aptly named Coraline Princess. This one is a 71 strong each way bet on that. Then, so a little longer video today, guys. I apologize for that, especially if some of you have got a hangover on a Saturday morning. But uh, hopefully, it'll be a highly profitable day. So, worthwhile watching. Have a cracking day, guys. Take care. And I'll see you all on Sunday then. Cheers.